Hello everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to take off and land in a crosswind. And these techniques can be used on modern jets or anything as old as a World War II fighter, even World War I fighters. So today we're at Anderson Air Force Base on Guam in the Marianas, Marianas Islands maps. The weather for today is saying that we have winds blowing 312 at 8 knots, which 312 is heading that way, which means we have winds coming from that way. Now these winds are going to blow against our tail, and when they do, they're going to want to steer the aircraft towards into the wind, and we can see that if we just slowly start taxiing forward. You'll see that without any rudder input, that the aircraft just will slowly start drifting to the that's because the wind is coming from that direction and it's pushing on our tail to make us go that direction. So now, in order to correct for that, we will have to input left rudder to help keep the nose centered down the runway. Now we can do this for a little bit at the beginning of the takeoff roll with nose wheel steering. However, once we reach about 80 knots, we're going to want to deactivate the nose wheel steering in order to allow us to not oversteer the nose and then plow the aircraft into the ground. The other thing is that with adding left rudder, we're going to have to add in opposite aileron. We're going to have to add the aileron into the wing side that is facing into the wind. In this case, the right wing. This is to counter the lift that's going to be produced by the wind moving over the wing, along with the yaw that we're going to be introducing with the left rudder. So, uh, with that, we are going to do a takeoff roll on F-16, and I'll sh show you what to do on landing as well. Here we go. So now we're just going to correct the little left rudder, 80 knots, nose wheel steering off. We're going to input more rudder as the rudder becomes authoritative, and 140, rotate. There's the roll, I'm going to counteract with right stick, gear up, push the nose down, Bob's going to be able to help with that. Now that we're going fast enough, wind isn't acting as much on us, and we can continue the flight as normal. Well. So now we'll just circle around, and do the landing. It's, uh, see our ADI is off to the left, so now I'm going to get the right rudder and left aileron to steer the ADI onto the runway heading. I'm going to steer the aircraft into the wind, just putting the nose right and giving it left aileron to counteract that yaw. We're just going to crab it down onto the runway, straighten it out right before touchdown. Stop. 
as you can see, uh, we're at such a low airspeed, the rotor is having very little effect on the nose authority. I'm having to put almost all the rotor in just in order to keep the nose from drifting. So we're going to go back to nose from steering to an the taxi. Tips have helped, and I'll see you next time.